Right, the next thing is this radiator. I really don't like the way it should be done. You should never just bolt a fan to a radiator and, and leave no gap. You just shouldn't do it. Um, you know, there's radiator mounts for a reason. Now, I know with this we've got particular issues. It's always best to mount the radiator this side and having the air go through. Um, we do have radiator mounts, as you can see, but we've only got, on the bottom crank, we've only got two inches of room which isn't enough for a fan so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to make my own shroud and i think i'm going to put two 10 inch fans uh, rather than two 12 inch fans and i should hopefully be able to fit them with the mount here the mount there we've got some big eight by four sheet metal and make a radiator shroud and then uh, that's the first thing I'm going to have to do and then figure out exactly what fans I'm going to use after that. But I think I'm going to use two 10 inch fans, ultra slim line 10 inch fans. And also we're going to make it work so we're, it actually works off the temper switch off the car so it actually turns itself on. This at the minute is only turning on manually and if you forget or if something happens, I would sooner just have it where I can turn it on manually but also the car will do it when, when it reaches temperature. So there's two things we've got to sort out. Right, this is what I'm thinking essentially. So we're going to have a box with lips on each end, two fans in the middle and they're going to be 10 inch fans, two tabs at the top with holes in and two locating uh, studs at the bottom. You'll see the locating studs can go into the actual holes at the bottom of the rad and the two little ears that at the top we can bolt the 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 shroud actually on top you know with two m8 bolts something like that so but i'm also thinking of doing a return lip on here so an l shape so i can actually drill little holes into this flange here and maybe just stick you know some cable ties or something just to stop it flapping around two on each side so a return lip um, on there so as you look at it sideways it's going to be kind of like that like an L shape so that's how it's going to look sideways so the lips going to come down and then go across on each side uh, so yeah that's what we're going to do sorted right I don't normally do this I normally just have it in my head and I make something but because of the video I'm kind of explaining what I'm doing so on the top oh sorry on the sides we're gonna have a return flange of five mil, or return lip, and then a flange of 10 mil, which will line up with this flange here and allow me to put a couple of cable ties in along the side here, and then it will just be a lot easier for, um, you know, to clip. And on the top, we're just gonna have two five mil returns. That will then essentially just give us an open box when, when the fans turn on, all the air is going straight through and out the other side, cooling the car down really, really quick, which is what we want. Sort it. Who needs a pipe bender? two lever bars a box or a 90 at the back piece of steel and two vice grips and we're gonna to have to do the second bend first before we do the first bend second do you get that you do Sorry. realize you said pipe bender uh, and we're doing sheet metal yeah what brian said because i wanted such a tight roll i'm just using a hammer and a chisel now essentially and just running along down here even a, a proper machine I don't think would get this 5mm um, bend that we need and then just straighten up that and we should be golden. Right now when you look at that, look, that's a really nice bend. I've just got to do a bit more work on this, but by hand you can see I've got that nice bend in there. Absolutely sorted. Right, first test fit, but you can see the angles we've got, and just let me, oh, look at that, look at that, let me get some light on, look at that people, brilliant, so a bit more work with the hammer, 
just get that nice and flat oh you can't really see just get it nice and flat um but yeah look at that that's perfect cable ties mounts at top and bottom sorted right as you can see we've still got a few rough edges this is just from the plasma cutter so that will just grind down very easy but as you can see i cold rolled this um second bend because at the time we didn't have our metal bender made but also it wouldn't it wouldn't do these two that close together anyway so as you can see it does kind of look a little bit rough not that it makes a difference for where i'm putting it but i just want to make it look neater so what i've done is i've got some steel in behind it acting as a flat surface and i'm just going to cold roll this again just very simply with a hammer and essentially do that all the way across to get this a lot flatter so once i've done a little bit of it i'll turn the camera back on and i'll show you people think you can't like cold roll steel and you can't do anything with hammers and stuff like that you have to use proper bending machines and stuff and when you dint it like that you can't really get it out where well, you can because that's what an english wheel is used for if you're doing a curve and stuff like that but as you can see just how flat that is compared to this and very simply i'll try and film it as a video but hopefully you'll see that you'll see it actually flatter you can see that that bend got a lot crisper than this here and it's flattened out a lot of them see them small little pimples i've put there it's flattened out so much more of them very quickly very see the finish difference is amazing so i'm just going to keep doing that and i'll show you this side compared to the other side once i've finished it right i haven't gone mad with this i only spent a couple of minutes on it but as you can see just look how smooth and nice that edge is now compared to how rough this edge was so if i go to that one again you can see just how much better that is and they're two really nice bends and it was all done by hand with no bender and uh yeah you can't i know if i spent another hour or so on this i could get this absolutely perfect but it's just a radiator shroud at the end of the day you're not going to see these edges it's all going to be painted you're not going to see anything so um and i want to get this car quickly done so yeah i'm just going to grind all the all the burr off this now and do the same with that one and then cut out the center fan holes right so just look at the difference now and like i said if i wanted to do a lot better i could but just look how crisp and nice that is this is needs to be trimmed down a little bit but and i need to trim like the likes of this and stuff but as you can see just with hammers metal very simple tools you can make some nice bends Right, so what I've done is I've cut two little tabs. I'm just going to get the rough shape and then I'm going to go over um, on the wheel and actually get them a lot better. So as you can see, they're just little rough shapes at the minute, which I'm going to weld onto the actual sheet once I get the actual um, proper line sorted out. I will be, once I'm restoring the Citroen, I will be showing a lot more metal work and how to actually do cold rolling, how to bend stuff, how to shape stuff. A lot more detail than what I am now because um, I just need to get this done quick. And on the Citroen, I'll be going into a lot more body work, steel work and stuff like that. But you get the idea. I'm just gonna shape this now a lot better, get it a lot looking a lot nicer and then weld them on. Right, I've still got a little bit more shaping to do, but as you can see, they belt, they're both. They are both hold there with the screws and it's looking a lot better, but a bit more shaping and a little bit of welding. And then it's down to the bottom two, right at the bottom. But that should be simple L brackets, nothing, uh, nothing difficult there. Right, I've just welded my tabs on, all nice and good, nice and strong. And now it's just a case of making the L brackets for the bottom and then cutting out the actual uh, fan parts itself. But a custom made, um, custom made fan shroud, sorted. 
Right, so I've made my little tabs. Let's pull one of them out, as you can see. I'm just going to bend them, bend them both together, and that'll give me my 90. Weld one end on one, drill a hole in the other, nut and bolt sorted. Lovely sorted boom. I don't know why I burst into song there, but why not? Right, and there we are. Two lovely 90s. Boom. Right, there we go. Our brackets are now done. Top and bottom. Just quickly welded, quickly uh, smoothed them off. And uh, there we go. Now, just a place for the fans. Cut them out with a plasma cutter. Right, and that's it in. Obviously, I've got to shave these bolts off and get them the right size and stuff. But you can see, that's all the brackets on. That's it in. Bit more work here with the hammer and the dolly. Bit of grinding, bit of painting. And it's going to look... A billion dollars right that's going to give you an idea what they look like kind of the placement ish and then we're just going to cut out the holes for them so that's recording now now what do you want me to do just point and hold it just hold that i had it recorded oh now i have it recorded i only had it recorded well it's definitely recording now More towards the cabbage. Yep. There's a bit of sausage left on that as well. Bit of spuds, bit of spuds. Fucking plug. You hear that, folks? I slipped. Leon slipped. It should be sound, Gromit. That is the the air the air bollocks, Mac. No, that is the customization that everybody knows I did. That's my mark. All <laughs> planned. All planned. That's a little squiggle that no one else can copy, but I can do it every time. Woohoo! It actually looks like something. It looks like I brought one! Awesome. Piss off, compressor! Right, there we are. Boom! We've got our holes cut. And uh, next we'll mount the fans. But that's for another day. Sorted. Right. And there we go, it's basically completed. I've got to still do a little bit of metal work. I've still got to obviously paint it, you know, rub it down kind of properly and paint it and get rid of a few more blemishes. But I mean, it's, it's practically there. What I'd like to do next time is actually bead roll, a bead across the top and across the bottom before I cut out the holes, just to give it a little bit of strength um, but I haven't got a bead roller, so I need to get a bead roller before I can actually do that. But that's what that's the only thing I'd really change. Just uh, bead roll the top, bead roll the bottom, and just give it a little bit more strength. Um, but the one thing I am going to do is I'm going to put some um, foam in on this side here. And I'll show you that once I actually get that on. But I just wanted to see if everything fitted first. So I'm going to take the fans back off and do a bit of painting. Get it all undercoated. And uh, yeah, get it ready. Sorted. It looks like it's supposed to be there now i wish i had a lathe so i could make my own spacers and a, a rolling machine as well but what i have done is a bead roller i put some foam in here so there can be no you can see the foam's just there so there's no rubbing there's no nothing the foam will stop it from cutting into the rat or doing anything if anyone has a lathe for sale or a bead roller please let me know uh, contact me on my email address and 
providing you know it's not uh, too expensive we can do a deal and obviously you are in Ireland because anything like that well the bead roller not too bad but the lathe to try and ship over here would be too expensive but there we go look at that I'm really happy with the um, foam I've got there so that is absolutely perfect cut these washers down to size I'm gonna use these for spaces at the minute because like I said I have no other way of doing it um, and put a few cable ties down here the bolts at the bottom but look at that it looks like it's supposed to be there well it is supposed to be there let's face it but it looks like it was there all along and there we go so look oh yeah and I can't wait to take that thing off that thing is just yeah it's been annoying me since I've seen it so there we go please like share comment and subscribe don't forget links up here links down below but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted